Hey, my name is David Foster. I, I'm just kidding. I'm Kevin Michael Reed, coming to you live from my car. Actually, not live. I'm recorded. But uh, I'm gonna share some news with you today. It's New Year's Eve. It's about eight o'clock and I'm standing here in a big empty space. You can probably hear from the sound that it's a big wide open space. So what am I doing here? Well, here's the thing. With all of the projection design work that I'm doing, all the video work, all the virtual um, art pieces and theater and the virtual conferences that I'm working on, I've realized that I'm constantly struggling trying to find enough server power, enough computers, the space to do the work in. So I decided it was time to get a space. So I haven't had a studio in about seven years now. I've kind of missed having that place that I can go to and know that I have a place to work where everything's already set up. I came here about a month ago and, and looked at this space. And to me, really, I realized all I needed was a space that I can have all the computers that I need, that I can have all the rendering systems that I need. And um, I rented it. Um, but I'm actually standing in the space right now. And actually for the last couple of weeks, I've, I've been here in the space. Um, the uh, carpenters have, have started to put up the walls. You can see them behind me. And um, I've also started to run data cable as well as um, a coax cable for SDI. And I'm building it so I have a 10G data network multiple networks um, for not only just the video to transfer, but also general land traffic, a Dante network for sound. Um, so I'm kind of building the ideal setup for all the work that I want to be doing and am doing. And uh, hopefully I can scale it up a little bit. I developed the plans in Vectorworks, um, which is a software that I use pretty regularly in my theater design work. So it, it's a tool that I know there are probably other pieces of software that are better, like AutoCAD or something like that, maybe, I don't know, but it was a tool that I knew, and I knew that it would work for my situation. It's kind of a mess right now. Like, as I mentioned, um, the contractors have been in here. They actually came, came in and put up all of the walls in about two days. We have all of the framing and uh, this space right here uh, will be the control room. And right now I'm really focusing, even though I will need to capture a video, I'm really focusing on making a world-class control room that I can use to work on virtual productions. In the time that we're in right now, um, a lot of stuff is still virtual. And um, over the last couple of years, I've been able to develop uh, plans for bringing in cameras from all over the world. And you've seen it in some of the work that I've done, um, either in my behind the scenes streaming or in some other videos that I've made. So I've, I've developed system that is cheap and cost effective to bring in remote sources and I can control them from anywhere in the world. So, um, you know, I can have cameras in Ireland, I can have cameras in LA, I can have cameras in Paris, I can have cameras in New York, and all of that, at least my goal is can be controlled from this one control room here. I'm really excited because uh, there were a lot of really good Black Friday specials on televisions and monitors. So I ended up uh, picking up two um, 65 inch TVs um, to go on the, the main walls of the control room here and then 32 inch monitors to go under it. Uh, but I'm really excited to see how uh, that looks in this space and how cool that will look. Obviously because I love LEDs and you've probably seen in some of my projection design or uh, set design work or other video projects that I've designed and uh, doing studio builds, um, I really love LEDs. So I'm hoping that uh, all of the lines along the ceiling will be lined with LEDs and it will be a cool space to, you know, not only do street live streaming from here and do Q&As, but also just uh, be a really cool space to hang out in and uh, maybe watch movies on multiple 65 inch TVs. I don't know. So in all of the spaces that I've worked in in the past, I'm 
the servers and the data network and all of that have been an afterthought. So one of the things I actually started in developing the plan for this space was to figure out where I'm gonna have servers, how those servers are geographically located in the space to the control room, and how we make sure that the sound from the servers doesn't invade the control room or the other workspaces. I used to have a fashion photography studio in the garment district of New York, and one of the problems we had was that um, we didn't plan when we were building out this space um, for where the server room would be. The servers ended up living in my office and I never ever wanted to be in the office because if you take you know 10 15 computers all with high powered fans and uh, they're going constantly first of all it gets really hot in the space um, so even in the winter we'd have air conditioning running in my office but also it was just loud and I couldn't even take a phone call so what I decided was that with this space I would make a dedicated room that would have dedicated HVAC that would be soundproofed multiple layers of insulation so this space right here where two server racks can sit will be um, unobtrusive um, to the things that we're doing in the other spaces. It's kind of a mess right now, but here this room will be my office. Now I've planned every room in the space to be able to have multiple people in it as my work expands. I've run data lines to the three walls three uh, in this space, so a desk can be, be, be put on any wall of the space, so I could actually fit three people in here. In the entry area, which is right here, I've actually done the same thing. Now there's a door to my office right back here. Well, it's not a door, it's an open space right now, where I've run data cables to the two outside walls. Um, and that way, if things expand, if I end up taking over additional spaces in the building, um, we could turn this into an office as well without having to worry about running more cables. So even, even though right now we're only building what is essentially five rooms, the, the office, the entry area, the control room, the server room, and then the shooting space, um, I, I actually run over a mile of cable throughout the space. Each point where there might be a desk actually has four ethernet cables. And all of those ethernet cables are 10G rated, but at least we have the opportunity to expand. I've also run SDI cable to each of those points where there's a desk. If at some point in the future, we want to um, you know, run a monitor so the program can be sent without the latency of NDI, um, we could do that or if we want to put a camera in one of those spaces, I can just plug into the wall and run a camera back to the, to the main switcher. For right now, when you, when you first come in the door, um, you, you enter the, the entry area, uh, which for right now, we'll just have a TV on the wall and probably a couch or something just to wait. And then this is the main entry into the studio. Uh, now, I'm a big art collector, so on the wall over here, we'll have, um, I'm going, I'm planning on hanging a bunch of uh, the art that I've collected over the years. Um, you know, right now, it's just a wall. Hopefully, um, by the time we're done building this space out, it'll be something special. Now, one of the cool things and one of the main reasons why I picked this space was because it has a f huge, full-size garage door back there. Um, so we can, we can bring sets in and out. And I could also, for my theater design work, for set design work, we could also use this space to build out, um, build out sets, um, test sets, um, use the space to test out some of the projection design work that I'm doing on the actual sets that we'll be using the space. It's not huge, it's not a huge space. In fact, this shooting space is probably a third of the size of what my studio in New York City was. You know, it's a start and, you know, who knows, there, the space next to me might become available or there's actually three spaces on this side of me and then we just cut a hole in the wall and move in as my business hopefully expands and uh, as I start needing more space. But right now, it's just me uh, I'm looking hopefully to hire an assistant pretty much immediately to help with the business side of stuff and um, you know, then we'll see. 
we'll see how it goes and, and, and what happens. The space isn't perfect. It's actually um, right out that door and probably another 30 or 40 feet, there's, there's train tracks. So every once in a while, maybe once an hour, you hear a, a train come by. So I'll, uh, I'll be soundproofing the walls, um, building new walls just to, to, um, to block out some of the sound from those trains. Maybe while we're talking, you might even hear one of those trains go by. And hopefully as the walls go up and as we soundproof all of the walls, we'll be able to control um, the sound in the space. And then each of the spaces and all of the surface of the space, all of the surfaces of the space um, will be treated um, for sound to make it a, a space that, that you can record in. Um, without the echo that you're probably hearing right now. You know, with my projection design work, a lot of times I'll, I'll go to stock photography, stock video, or um, create renderings in, in, in Blender or in After Effects and stuff like that. And one thing that I really miss from the time when I had my own photo studio was the ability to just go out into the studio and make something. If I need a water splash, what do I need to, to make a water splash and, and build that? So this, I think this will allow me to be creative and um, allow me to have the resources that I need at my disposal. All I need to do is, is come into work and, uh, and create, and it's all here. It's all here already. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, um, it's New Year's Eve, and uh, obviously because of the state of things right now, um, I didn't want to go out, and um, yeah, so <laughs> I decided to come here. Unfortunately, um, the virus did hit our household, so I was quarantining downstairs in the basement anyway to stay away from those people that were sick in the house. Um, so I, I actually ended up spending Christmas, here, Christmas Eve here and Christmas Day, and um, for the last couple of weeks, I've kind of just been here every day, kind of dreaming and, and seeing how that original plan that I made is actually working out in the physical space. Um, you know, it's, it's not perfect and, you know, things change and things are changing constantly, um, but it's, it's been a really neat process to, to build something from scratch, from uh, a warehouse to, um, to something that's a, a, a space for creation. So some of the things that I'll be taking you through on this channel and in future videos is how we're building out the network. I will talk a little bit more about the, the data network and uh, we're using all Ubiquiti um, Unify equipment in the space um, for, our, for our network. Talk a little bit about the servers that we're using. I'm using some uh, old, not old, well, they're about five, six years old, um, servers that have come out of data centers. Um, that I'm using for my render farm, but also for additional vMix call servers or as Zoom machines or Zoom drones as some people tend to call them uh, to bring in uh, remote guests for shows. I'll obviously take you through the rest of the build out of the space, um, including some of the design aspects. Um, and, you know, hopefully I can give you a little bit of inspiration there. I'll also be installing some smart home equipment in the space to manage the temperature, the lighting, and the sound within the space, um, including a habitat as the, the main um, automation center, um, and some Innovelli smart home switches and dimmers, um, as well as sensors and, and uh, thermostats um, throughout the space. Now, I'm not gonna tell you about all of the security features in the space, but right now I do have a ring uh, security system installed, including uh, cameras and um, sensors. That will be one of three different security systems. And um, if I am here YouTubing <laughs> about the equipment that I'm using, I wanna make sure that um, there's some things that you don't quite know about the security in the space. So I'm really excited to uh, get going with that and uh, playing with that equipment, and I'll show you uh, what I'm doing. The landlord of the space called it a warehouse, and it is, it is. It's a big warehouse or a big workshop to see what I can create over uh, the next few years, over the term of the lease, and uh, you know, we'll see. 
I want to thank David Foster for pulling me on to uh, this little vlogging unit um, that I've built and it's actually really cheap. I'll put a link in the description so you can check out all of the equipment that I'm using and how uh, David uses it as, as well. I'm really excited about what the new year will bring and I think that's why it's really appropriate for me to be sitting here in front of my computer at the space where my desk will be 10.30 at night on New Year's Eve, um, you know, ending out the year, um, planning for the new year and, and what that may, be, may bring and, uh, you know, the journey that I'll, that I'll go on. Thanks for watching. If you uh, want to see more content and watch my build out and um, also tune in to some of my live streams um, as we not only build out but as I continue to do video production work and my projection design work and my theater design work and uh, my theater direction work, um, I'll continue doing all those, those live streams and stuff like that. I hope you, uh, you keep in touch and uh, definitely hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Give me a like if you want. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, um, that definitely helps. So uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, Happy New Year.